Do you have children and are schools important to you? Today we are going to be talking about schools, both public and private, in Castro Valley, California, and let's start right now. Now, let me start this video off by saying that I'm a firm believer that any school you send your child to, it's going to show a school score. But that school score, it's just a score. All schools also need parent support as well as parents putting positive things into their children also. For each school, I am going to show an overall rating and that's the rating that you're going to see for each school. In that rating, there are going to be four individual ratings. These four numbers actually combine to get that one rating. Number one is a test score rating. This is reflecting the annual state test results for this school compared to other schools statewide. Number two is an academic progress rating. This rating measures how much students learn in a year compared to their peers across the state. Number three is a college readiness rating. This rating is gonna show how well students at this school are prepared for college compared to other students at other schools in the state. These are gonna be based on key measures like graduation rates, college entrance tests, and AP course rate and AP coursework when available. And this is only given for the high schools, um, this rating here. Finally and fourth is the equity overview rating. This rating looks at how well the school is serving the needs of the disadvantaged students relative to all of the students. They're gonna compare this to other schools in the state based on test scores provided from the State Department of Education. Now, let's go over a few of the facts of the Castro Valley schools. All right, let's jump into our tour of the Castro Valley Unified School District. They have 17 schools in their school district and the number of students they have is 9,255 and they serve the grades pre-K through 12th. So if we go down to see the number of schools that they have, it says they have 11 elementary schools, four middle schools, and five high schools. I do like to tell people, though, that they do count some of these schools twice. Like I know they account the adult school as both a middle school and a high school. So the numbers aren't always exactly right when we start touring the schools. All right, so let's look at some figures for the teachers and staff. They average student per teacher ratio is 22 to one, which matches the state average. The number of students to each counselor is 597 to one, which is actually less than the state average. The percentage of teachers with three or more years teaching experience is 89%. The percentage of full-time teachers who are credentialed is 99%. And the average teacher salary is 136,000. 897, which is over the state average. Now let's look really quickly at a couple of things on the district finances. The average revenue per student is $14,617. And then let's go to the average spending per student is $10,054 per student in the Castro Valley Unified School District. Okay, so let's start with Castro Valley High. All right, let's jump into the Castro Valley High Schools. And I know it said they had more than one high school. So really quickly, let's just point out here, they do have a Redwood Continuation School, which is a high school, but it is a continuation school and they have 125 students. And then they also count as the high school, the Castro Valley Adult and Career Education. So the one high school that they have is a public school of ninth through 12th graders. It is a rating of nine and it has 2,834 students. Okay, let's now jump over to the middle schools. 
All right, let's start out with the middle schools in Castro Valley. And Castro Valley has two middle schools in the whole entire town. And you will notice that they're actually closer together and they're both on the east side of Castro Valley. So there is a big size difference in the number of students. So let's start out at Canyon Middle School, which is a rating of seven. It serves grades six through eight, and they have 1,391 students. Let's go to the smaller school, which is Creekside Middle School, and they serve 781 students for their sixth through eighth graders, and they have a rating of eight. Now you will note that the two other schools that they cite as middle schools are the adult school and also the a virtual academy that they have there also. Finally, let's round out the Castro Valley schools with the elementary schools. Okay, so let's start the elementary schools in Castro Valley. The good thing that you'll note about most of these schools here in Castro Valley is that they're green, which means that they have good scores and good ratings. So let's go ahead and start with our northeast most one, and this is going to be Jensen Ranch Elementary, and it serves K through fifth grade as the others do also. And they have 424 students and they are a 10. We're going to jump over here to Palomares Elementary School and it serves K through fifth grade and it is 143 students only. This is a little bit of a country school out here. It's a totally cute school, um, but it was originally built for the people that live in the country on Palomares Road. Like I said, totally cute, cute school. The next one is Independent Elementary School, which has 626 students and it is an eight. Let's jump up here to Van Noy Elementary School that serves 436 students and they have an eight also. Marshall Elementary School has 490 students and they are an eight. Let's jump up here north to Proctor Elementary School. They have 511 students and they are a nine. Castro Valley Elementary School has 506 students and they are a seven rating. We're gonna go over to Chabot Elementary School. They have a 464 students that go there and they are an eight. And let's go to Stanton Elementary School. They have 493 students and their rating is a six. There is another one that I wanna point out that is physically in Castro Valley. It's going to be Strobridge Elementary School and it has 492 students. But the thing that I wanna point out in this one even though it's in Castro Valley, it's actually a Hayward School District school. So I do want to point that out again, when you're going close to these borders of the freeway, that there are some schools that are in Castro Valley, but serve the Hayward School District. So you'll notice in Castro Valley, there is a number of private schools. Every little gray circle is a private school. A good number of these schools are going to be uh, small homeschools or preschools. So there are two that serve elementary schools that are in Castro Valley. And the first one that we're gonna look at is Our Lady of Grace School. This is a Catholic school and it serves grades K through eight and has 238 students. The next school that we're gonna look at is Redwood Christian Elementary School and they serve K through fifth grade and they have 243 students. And that's it for Castro Valley. Oh, woo, that was a lot. I have a one more super important point, but first, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, right there. I know you see it. Also, I have a buyer guide that you can get for free. Did I say free? You can get it in the link in the description below. Now, on to my most important point. If you are looking at public schools, there are district boundaries, okay? So you need to know if you're looking for a certain school, you need to make sure that you need to live in a certain area. So if you're concerned with it, be sure to check out the Castro Valley Unified School District for details. I'm Casey Serafina Lee, your local East Bay real estate agent helping you love where you live. If you liked this video, you might like this video or this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel here. Come on, go ahead. I dare you. See you on the next one.